Ding ding, round five. No, only kidding. Uh, I'm actually summoning Benzella to my world as a friendly phantom this time. Um, mainly because, uh, as you know, I'm a forest hunter on this game and on this particular playthrough. And I don't have. Uh, I'm running out of red cracked eye orbs. Um, so I'm running out of ways to invade people. Um, I'm also getting invaded myself while I'm trying to summon Benzella. So uh, Benzella got summoned uh, exactly the same time as uh, we got this guy invading again. So I'm not going to get involved in that, but so I was just going to see him off. Um, uh, basically I, I want Benzilla to come to my world so he can give me cracked by uh, red eye orbs because he's a dark wraith and I'm not and he can get them. So uh, Benzilla's going to take this guy out behind the shed and um, just basically put him out of his misery with a double barreled shotgun to the face. And uh, there he goes. So Benzilla's kind of helping me out a bit here and uh, he comes um, trotting on back after he kills a knight that's also there, so he killed the knight at the same time. Um, and we basically uh, have a little fun, just as a, a little bit of co-op going on here. Um, trying to summon some red spirits and get sort of a fight club sort of thing going, but it didn't really work out too well. Uh, we've got another spirit of vengeance turned up here. Um, I guess I have much more uh, <laughs> indictments than I thought I did. So uh, I'm just going to stay put over here and we're just going to watch this one from the sidelines as uh, Benzella deals with the guy with a uh, <laughs> in his little egghead form. He's not even in his egghead form, he's even got a worse build there with his Avalon build. And the guy's got Dark Moon Blade on a scythe, which can be a bit annoying. Um, kind of taking chunks out of Benzella there, but he's got good magic defense, so it's not doing too much damage to him. Um, Benzella's got his pyromancy and they're just kind of making him jump back a bit. Um, and there's a lot of caution going on here, just like watching other people, and we've got to watch out for the side because it's uh, it, it does have a very good um, dead angle ability. But uh, Benzel has managed to chip away with the Avalon because it's got quite a slow um, swing speed. So after each swing he misses, Benzel can get around with the Avalon in. Although he kind of left himself a bit open to that one. Um, in fact, I think Benzel is losing at this point, um, mainly because he's just. Uh, Flipping around with that Avalon, trying to get in, but uh, now the guy's buffs run out, and Benzilla's absolutely hacking him to pieces with that samurai sword that kills me in four hits. Um, again, he's trying to get to those dead angles with the uh, side slam, <laughs> and uh, that is uh, that's what happens when you get wind up a, a samurai sword attack and uh, kill him, and he manages to get the backstab and finish him off. So uh, well done, Benzilla. I managed to take him. Taking down some spirit of vengeances for me, so uh, that, there's that. And uh, we tried to get some more uh, games going on, but nothing really much is happening. So uh, I managed to just get rid of Benzilla there because I'm not about to do Gwyn as a co-op. So Benzilla gets sent home, and um, I tried to get some more cracked eye red orb invasions. Unfortunately, I can't because I'm being invaded by this dude again. Uh, that actually did quite a lot of damage. I'm actually quite surprised. Uh, but as I was uh, going around killing knights at this point, I have my halberd equipped for some reason, um, which is actually doing a hell of a lot more damage than the, uh, uh, the dagger ever would. So he's getting hit from long range, from a long way away, and uh, he, <laughs> he took some distance between us. I don't think he was really expecting that crystal soul spear out of nowhere. So I caught him off guard and killed him, and I got to give him a little shrug. And at this point, he invades me again. I'm getting a little bit sick of it because this is what sixth, seventh time, and I'm trying to lose to him to uh, either make sure that if he just wants revenge on me, he might stop invading if I just let him kill me. And either way, it will get one more indictment off me, and that will mean that I'm not being invaded again. Um, hopefully, I, I don't know how many indictments I've got racked up at this point. So I'm just messing around with the dark hand. Uh, so we can get some humanity off him. Like I've got one humanity I can fill up in the tank, so might as well. And, uh, see, that's the problem with the Dark Hand. Even if you connect it like that, 42 damage with the Dark Hand grab, it still didn't count as death, as a, a grab. So uh, he manages to finish me off, so good for him. Kind of hoping that would be the last time that happened. Um, but it's not. He's back. And, um, I'm a bit annoyed that he's back already again. This was like straight afterwards, so I'm uh, going to deal with this guy pretty quick <laughs> and neat because I'm getting a bit annoyed with this guy because he keeps on invading me. Um, and it's quite clearly when I actually just go for it, he doesn't stand much of a chance. But uh, finally, I managed to get a red cracked by eye orb invasion off. 
and I'm baiting this guy with a Dark Knight Pike, the looks of it. Um, and he's just summoning a dude at exactly the same time as I'm invading. So we've got a 2v1 situation right here. Um, and when I'm looking back at this footage, the first thing I think, the very first thing is, well, it's 2v1, I really, really, really should be using a Aloy's Talisman here. But um, I decided not to. I don't know why, maybe. If I did, this might be a much more shorter match, but in the end, uh, well, you see how it goes. I start hacking away, hacking away, hacking away, and they're not doing too much damage. Guy's nearly dead, like two more hits, and I guy would die. But uh, while he's over there healing both of them with his Estus Flask, which is why I should Lloyd, but I didn't, um, we've got these slow ass dudes and casing his stone armor and this other guy. I'm just running circles around these guys right now. If they guys weren't healing, look at that. I would be absolutely dominating. He can't really say it. It's quite obvious where I'm Would have been a nice parry if I actually remembered how to uh, land a post today. This guy's almost dead, but dude heals again. And uh, this is a lesson where you should always um, get the Lloyds out if you can. But I was just having fun just hacking these guys up because they clearly didn't know what the hell they were doing. So, uh, whatever. It's quite fun seeing the damage I was putting out on these guys. Even though my buffs run out, these guys are still going at it. I don't know why that guy had a mid-roll straight into me, that was just leaving him completely open. Uh, he manages to get the back step on the front leg, so... There we go, I obviously thought that was really worth the... Uh, that was a great attack for them, but... You know, they're doing co-op to go and take down Gwyn, and that's... A whole lot less Estus Flasks for more invasions for them, so... We got this guy invading me again! He's giving me a shrug, I guess maybe he's not invading me on purpose, or whatever. So, uh, it is quite hard being a dark. Um, I haven't forgotten what kind of covenant that is. Uh, I've completely forgotten the name of it. But it's pretty hard being those dudes, I guess, because I can't really get many invasions going at once, because it's really hard. So I'm just kind of wailing around, not really trying against the guy. He got a shield bash on me, that's cool. You don't see that very often, especially with that shield. Um, it's pretty nice to parry it. I'm getting a parry on the shield bash. And uh, he's not falling for that trick again. Getting pretty close though. Still, even with that massive shield, which does have great magic defense, he's still taking a lot of damage from this. And there he goes. Uh, all that armor. Oh, yes, it's not going to happen to the buff. And here's this guy again. Um, I really am running out of things to say about it at this point. Um, I think at this point, yep, I'm trying to let him kill me again so that I can get rid of all these stupid indictments and so maybe he'll get enough of the um, ears of Velka or whatever the hell it is you get from them. It has literally been an age since I've played as that particular covenant. I'm just kicking him around, wanting him to kill me, but he's not. I, I just want him to kill me. There you go. Almost got it. But uh, I don't know whether he wants a fair fight or not. I think I've already proved that a fair fight isn't going to go too well for him. So I just want him to kill me, get rid of my indictment so he stops invading me because I'm getting a bit bored of this. But uh, he's just kicking me and kicking me and kicking me. So he obviously he doesn't get the memo that I just want him to kill me at this point. So uh, I think I try and get some practice with uh, comboing him in a minute. So I've got Force equipped. I'm just going through in my head like good time to practice. Uh, so I got him like agitated I guess with that. I'm going to try and get some combo on him in a minute. And uh, I'm sure he's, he's in a buff on that uh, knife. So I actually went through his shield and did one damage. That's good to know. And I got some force for him. He's got his shield up which can take force pretty well actually. A bit of a shame. So he must know it's force. If it wasn't, then uh, Wrath of the Gods would be going to be there you go, one hit. Yeah, he's got his shield out and he's taking it. Oh, maybe not. There we go, he's down. I want to get the uh Ooh, nearly. <laughs> nearly. You know what I'm trying to do with that combo. It's worked once or twice. But um the little emote and manages to slap me down with uh, attack. So uh yeah, he's finally beaten me that's what two times when I'm not really trying. Good for him. Yeah, it did send me a message for that, so that's cool. And good night, yeah, whatever. Um, I've got the last invasion coming up here. Because uh, I think this is the last invasion. It might not be. Um, 
We're going to Dragon Bro. And you see there, I got hit by something as I came in. I think that was the Crystal Soul Spear, homing Crystal Soul Mask, which doesn't spawn if you invade. I don't know why he did that. I hadn't actually damaged him at that point, so I decided just to let him have that. And, uh, we've got an interesting sequence here. Like, I was getting so like annoyed at just facing these things. I decided, right, I'm just going to parry this dude. I don't care how much health I'm going to die, whatever. Try and give him a shrug, for some reason it didn't quite work. Uh, I'm getting poisoned. So I'm kind of expecting to die at this point. I'm poisoned, he doesn't really need to do much. And I was acting like an idiot, trying to parry something, which I really shouldn't be just sitting there taking damage. So He's also got nice fat armor, so a little bit of the old force. And uh, I managed to hit him with some magic there. And then he brings out his, I've got it going faster than he does. I hit him twice in a row and finish him off. I've got to give him a shrug there, that was a bit harsh because I uh, just fire up two crystal soul crystal soul spears. But then again he should have moved out of the way, so who am I to judge? That's a win for me. And uh, I got my new humanity and that's a hell of a lot of souls. And the toxic kills me. Boom. And I was indicted! Oh yeah. That made me laugh a hell of a lot when that actually happened. So here we go with another crack red eye orb invasion. Earth Scraper. He seems to be a uh, heavy Havel build right now, um, doing a little pose. Um, Havel builds are of course very very slow, um, so a very fat, slow weapon there, so hopefully I can get in and out, in and out and do my thing and have one of those, uh, you know, a big heavy class versus a light class like myself. I've got the magic buff versus his uh, silver knight shield, so that's interesting. Yeah, he backs off over here, um, switches to Havel shield, so I know I can just go at that all day long and not worry about being parried. Um, but again, he goes for the Wrath of the Gods, so uh, he manages to catch me out with it. He goes for a uh, Force Push. He's got plenty of magic on this build, so I'm not sure what he's going to do for us. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is about, so I go off the way thinking it might be a, a Tranquil Walker piece, but he's actually got the um, magic defense there, which is cool, because you don't see that very often. So I switch out my, uh, my dagger, and uh, I go to the Gold Pie Resonance. It's a shame that he hit me with that lightning, really, because this is kind of. You know, the Batman way of doing it, having a gadget for every situation. He's got magic defense on there, so I, I switch out my buff, and I go to the gold pine res and give an electric buff, which basically means he doesn't have any sort of advantage with that buff that he just gave himself, which is cool. Um, I've got the parry on that slow ass swing, which I saw from a mile away there. Um, and I think we have the backstab there, yep, we've got a repost and a backstab on him, but of course, because he's a Havel. Uh, build here, I'm not having a great deal of uh, effort to get his um, ass on there. And obviously he's leaving himself well, well open to backstabs there, but I've already got one backstab in there, I don't really feel like going for another one. Probably should have tried to dodge that instead of actually block it, because his shield is absolute garbage, and that was basically like taking a proper hit. Saw the parry coming, um, the attack coming, but of course, don't quite manage to get the, uh, the parry on that one, so... That's the, that's the trouble with online, you've you, you got to kind of guess what the parry is rather than actually use skill to do it. So I uh, invaded one last time the world of Benzilla. So we've got one last try coming up here. Um, he's got his uh, uber chaos sword out and he's got pyro in the other hand with both grass up. And he's uh, throwing his poison as I go and buff, which is okay. And I'm dodging on my way over there because I want to get in his face. And he's still trying to poison me, although that might be in a uh, firebomb, because he's got all sorts of gadgets at his disposal. Um, and he's got Pyro in his other hand, which means he can't parry me, so... There's a temptation to trade down right there. Um, but of course that sword he's got is so deadly, and now he's two-handing it. I'm like two hits away from being dead, and we already know how much uh, magic defense he's got there, it's like pretty amazing. And he goes for a uh, another little shield bash thing there. There's also another thing that can't parry, that's cool. Um, the, uh, the spike shield there. I finally managed to nail a parry on Benzilla. Finally! It took me, what, 10 matches between us? Um, but I am one hit away from dying, and I am about three hits away from block hits from dying. Well, maybe not that much. Um, my bleed is going up, and now he's putting some poison on me. <laughs> he loves those statuses, I'm glad he kind of loves him play Pokemon, or this would be one hell of a match. Uh, there he's got his um, Pyromancy Whip and Firestorm, which I can use to dodge out of the way. Try and get the uh, Crystal Soul Spit, oh that was close, that might have been enough to KM at this point. 
tries to hit me with uh, pyromancy <laughs> on the way in. So there's plenty of tricks going around now. And now he's got the fire surge. Hitting it just a little too early first. Um, I'm wondering if the force will actually get the fire surge. Or if you need a force will go through the pillar here. So I'm going to hide behind the pillar and try and get him if he comes down. I managed to hit him. And, uh, he rolls through the second one. And I know that Benzella is actually someone who can punish... Um, things like that. He can punish Wrath of the Gods, he can punish four. So if he rolls through one, I don't want to fire another one off because he could technically just roll through a backstab and that would be the end of the match. So I don't really want to spam these forces too much, even though I technically probably could. Um, now he starts using uh, fireballs at me and you see he does a little spin every time he throws it. It's like just throwing to me that it's not actually locked on. And here we kind of lose track of actually playing the match seriously. I'm like, I know that I can bounce this and back at him, so I'm just like, keep on throwing, keep on throwing at me. And I'll try and have a little match and try and bounce him back at him. But, uh, unfortunately, I'm not good enough at this because we, we're not in tune enough at the moment. I've done it before with uh, NPCs and stuff. Like this one. Try and get the uh, combo off, but I use a long damn weapon. There's a slap me now for it as he should. So, uh, GG Benzilla. Um, but that's it for that. And now we're going to move on to Gwyn. Now, I've already tried to fight Gwyn the, uh, the hard way without parrying. Now, I'm just kind of, you know, this isn't a playthrough of the actual game. It's a PvP playthrough. I'll show the bosses, but I won't do anything special with them. So now I'm just going to fight with the Hornet Ring. Um, we've got the uh, Black Knight Shield, which is good against fire damage, which is what he has, and the Halberd to finish him off. So this is me playing as I should do, um, except that I messed that. <laughs> I messed that one up. So. Um, so mess that one up. He's got a mean uh, hitbox and that grab, so you've got to be a bit careful of that. Plus, you know, I'm on mid roll on this one, as opposed to the light roll. After playing three hours of light roll, you kind of get used to it a bit. But uh, that's what you're supposed to do. And you see there, there's about four hits and he's dead, so you need to uh, do that four times. And every time you do that, you have time to heal in between the parries as well. So Gwyn's a bit of a joke. In fact, I think it's going to be three hits, but that's a bit. Just one attack. To attack. And that's not the kind of combo I'm looking for. I'm looking for the, a quick combo and then uh, another one. One there, and then he goes for a thrust there. So he's very nearly dead, and at this point I'm at full health, he's nearly dead. So I'll try and mix it up a bit. Perhaps get a crystal uh, magic soul spear, like no scope on him. So that's what I'm going to try and do here. Force isn't going to be damaging him. There's a crystal soul spear as I'm trying to work it. He manages to dodge one. He's dodging two, and that's still actually managing to get me. Oh, 360, no scope, misses, the sails over his head. And at this point, I really don't want to die and start all over again. So I'm just going to, you know, lay it out. And uh, almost gets me there. I'm so glad I rolled through that, or he would have actually killed me. But he leaves himself open with a grab, and that's when I'm going to poke him with a halberd. Now i got to give, him a give the, uh, you guys a shrug there, because I was trying to be clever, and that almost cost me my life. So... Uh, that's what the shrug's about. So now we've got a decision. Um, there are two ways to finish this game. You can go for lighting the bonfire and continuing on the world, I guess, um, for a short period of time. Or I can become the Dark Lord and evil of everything. Um, it, it, the fan lore is kind of doing speculation which one's a good ending and a bad ending. You see, I'm like deciding between the two. Which one will I go for? Which one? And. I decide to be a Dark Lord ending because it's a bit more badass. So I'm gonna take off this Hornet ring, I put on my popper ring, put all my uh, PvP stats on, and we're gonna walk out of here. Um, I'm gonna leave the uh, ending, and no commentary on it, even though um, it kind of defeats the point of what I've been doing this whole point. But you know, I think you guys get to see the ending. Quasi Fufu have a nice ending. So uh, I'll see you guys after the cutscene. Bless thy safe return. Let Karf and Frant serve your highness. We are here to serve your highness. Let true dark be cast upon the world. 
And there we go. Cut out the uh, ending and me starting again, and uh, we are back in the same cell that we started. Although this time we've of course we've got 98 humanity, all our gear, and uh, everything's good to go. So um, we are starting New Game Plus again. Um, obviously I've played through the game once, um, I managed to get to the end playing human the whole time. Um, it's been a blast in places, although I've kind of learned as I've gone. I thought I knew pretty much everything there was, uh, but Forest Covenants turns out to be a pretty hard thing to do if you've uh, not really done it before. So we're blasting through this uh, tutorial area. Um, even on New Game Plus, it kind of leads you into a self a false sense of security that New Game Plus is a lot easier. Um, and I will light this bonfire because uh, I know that there is a sequence um, sometime in the game where having that being able to warp to that bonfire is actually quite good, so uh, that's why I like that one. Not forget it. Got this dude dropping down, though this time I got some crystal soul spear for his ass. I do a little back dodge there, some little pro action, because when you got the back dodge, you can't be uh, flinched by anything. So I took the damage and I got the uh, soul crystal soul spear off quicker by doing that, because I know it can tank his damage. Give him a shrug, and that's the uh, first boss dead. Um, like I say, I want to thank everybody who's watched this series. Uh, I don't really intend to really leave it at this point, obviously, because Dark Souls goes on forever. Um, I might do some more Dark Souls with different characters, a bit more like a PvP setup as opposed to a theme build PvP setup. Um, I'm trying to no scope this guy just for fun because I'm kind of messing about a bit, but uh, he's already that, so whatever. Um, it's been probably my longest series I've ever done on this. Uh, YouTube account. Um, I've been going for 3-4 years now, so um, on and off. I'm finally glad to get this at least halfway done. Um, I'm saying this of course, I'm probably going to be uploading another part of this later on because I would like to get some uh, footage done of probably the most premier PvP spot in the game, which I never really got to do in earlier in the game, and that is the uh, uh, the Berg is uh, one of the premier PvP spots, so I'll, I'd like to have a go at getting some PvP action there. So, um, like I say, we're just going to finish up Quasi Foo Foo and get into the place. Because you remember when I did the uh, thread section? <laughs> Poor Oroski that bites dust again. Most unlucky guy in Dark Souls. Anyway, um, I kind of left off and I was looking at the humanity uh, by the well, um, and that's where I left off. And that's currently, hopefully, when I. Um, reload the save because I haven't played this game in about three months now. Um, Quasi Fufu will be exactly where this video ends up so I will be booting it up momentarily maybe doing some live commentary instead of post commentary like I'm doing now so I'm not quite sure why I came over. Oh yeah I know because Oscar drops the keys that's why I'm over here. Let's have a little look around. It always feels so uh, reminiscent when I come back this way on New Game Plus even though I am sort of speedrunning it. To do the final walk up to the final bit. Um, of course, now I'm not actually bothering to collect souls because I'm level 100 and my character is pretty much 100% complete right now. Um, I could do with one more humanity in the tank, but that's not really that important. And uh, I'm seeing if I can throw a uh, Lloyd Salisman in the air and see if it's in the uh, cutscene that triggers, but unfortunately I can't. A little free phrase jump, and we're going to skip the cutscene and. Uh, might see you guys later, might not, but uh, thanks for watching the series, and um, I'll see you guys again soon, so peace out.